Alright guys, welcome back to Jay's Tech Tips. Uh, today will be my first video working on this Toshiba Satellite Pro C650. So today in this video I'm going to show you how to perform a hard drive recovery, which is basically like a factory reset, so you get all your stuff back. And it'll be back to how it was originally was when you first got the laptop. Alright, enough of my blabbering, let's get right into it. So first of all, you're going to power on the machine and press F8. Alright, do F8. Usually I recommend this way. Yep, so you're going to select repair your computer. Now then what you want to do is press enter. And now you're just going to wait for it to come up with all your options. Alright, you just go next. Alright, now what you're going to want to do is go into the Toshiba Recovery Wizard. Okay. Uh, I'd recommend going Windows 7 64 bit, so once you're done selecting that, go next. It'll come up with a warning. Uh, yep. And now it's going to recover all your stuff. I'd, before recovering, I'd recommend saving everything to an external drive before, er, well, everything that's important to you to an external drive. So in that way, you won't be upset when you lose anything. Cause, it, cause, it, Cause I'm just warning you all now, it does erase all your stuff. So be careful when before you do this. All right, I'll be back when it goes a step further. So right now, since I, with the settings I selected, I'm going to raise this whole drive and it's going to reinstallize everything back to how it was when we first got this laptop. And yeah, should be all good to go. <laughs> all right, after it is fully done, like recreating all your partitions and everything, it should start to recover. And then here we are with this laptop. I'll be back in the heat of time once it's fully done recovering. Alright, now it's going to create this file. Um, I'm assuming it's probably to like save some stuff for all the recovery and OEM things. And once and that shouldn't be as long as the actual recovery itself. So I'll be back in the heat of time when this is all done, which is already at 3%, which I'm sure will not be as long as expected. So I'll be back in the heat of time. All right, recovery is complete. Now it should come up with this when it's complete successfully. Now what you wanna do is press finish and now it should do a restart. Now, now it's gonna do like a couple of things such as like, Yeah, should have, it should just skip that and then should do the. Yep, now it's going to boot and then sh hopefully it should. I think it's meant to do like some sort of driver installation when it boots into Windows 7.
Yep, that is completely normal. After installing the systems, it should, I think it's meant to do a restart. If not, it'll just log, it'll log into Windows for you and then it'll install your drivers. Yep, I thought, it, I, I thought correctly. Cause I know Toshiba very well, ever since I was a kid. Now it should just boot into win straight into Windows, log in, and should install your, all your drivers before before it get before you set up the whole thing, you know. So now we just wait for it to do that. Yep, that is normal. It should be logging in right now. Yep, I don't even touch anything, and now it's going to do this. So now what it's going to do is it's going to install my drivers. So I'll be back in the heat of time when it's like fully done installing my drivers. So right now it should be configuring it, and then it should start. So yeah, I'll be back in the heat of time now. If possible, it should do that, and then it may need to restart to fully install the drivers, like things such as display driver or, or like CPU drivers or something like that. So now we'll just wait for it to restart, and then. So don't worry, guys. That it's meant to do that for when you install your drivers. So now we'll just wait right here for it to install for us. Yep, normal. I'll be back in the heat of time. All right, after installing your drivers and everything, it'll restart. All right, after installing your drivers and everything, it will restart.
is installed. Alright, so now what we're going to do, if I can, now what you're going to do is you're going to select your country and everything. Uh, which I cannot find, so I'll just skip that. Uh, type in your name. type in your password if you want and then now you have to do a license agreement you have to accept every single one and then now go next use recommended settings uh, find your correct country if it, if it even is on there find it here all right now you'll just type in your password all right that is all done and just make it your home network pretty much it's optional you shouldn't Now here we are. All right, here we are, enough recovery. And yeah, hopefully this video helps. If it did, like and subscribe, give it a thumbs up. And yeah, hope this works on your Toshiba. Pretty much it should work on any Toshiba laptop, but always make sure you have your recovery partition, otherwise it might not work. Or if you're lucky enough, Sometimes you create USBs, which I've already done in this case.